here's what I'd like to do is, would you go to day one, this is um, day one, paper one, and I want to talk about the marks. We haven't really done this. When I look at your test, I want to see a little bit more detail in how you're writing your things and how you're, you're organizing it. Because our goal is to get marks, not just to get answers. So let's take this one. This is number one, 3x to the fifth minus ax plus b. And we're dividing x minus 1 and x plus 1. And the remainders are equal. They're not saying what it is equal. They're saying that they are equal. So do you remember the remainder theorem? It's the coolest thing. If you put a 0 in, you should get, if it's a root, it'll be 0. If you put a 1 in, if it's a root, it'll be 0. A 10, it'll be 0. Whatever the root is, it'll turn out to be 0. But if it's not a root, the remainder is you put that 10 in, and you get a remainder of like negative 3, that's your remainder. So we're going to put a 1 in. So, well, let's talk about this. x minus 1. Is that a factor or a root? Factor. How do you make it a root? Yep, x will be equal to 1. Now it's a root. Or root, however you say it. I don't care. Not route. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put, we're going to try to get these marks. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this root root in for f, and we're going to get 3 times 1 to the fifth minus a times 1 plus b. And simplifying it, you're going to get 3 times 1, 3 minus a plus b. Now that's what f of 1 is. We put a 1 in because 1 is one of our roots or roots. Well, x plus 1 is another factor. What's the root or root for that one? Negative 1. So let's check that out. f of negative 1 is equal to 3 times negative 1 to the fifth minus a times negative 1 plus b. So that simplifies to 3 minus a negative plus a plus b. Okay, so they're saying here that the remainders are equal. So I'm going to take this one and this one. And by the way, as I look at those, this is what we would call a, um, an answer. This is an answer mark. This is a method mark. To solve this problem, and this is kind of a method mark, too. They put it in parentheses because if you didn't get these later, they'd give it to you for this. That's why they're in parentheses. So you have, for sure, you're going to get an answer mark for this one, an answer mark for this one, and a method mark for this one. And so now we're just going to do what they're telling us to do. They're saying take 3 minus a plus b and set it equal to 3 plus a plus b. B. And notice that the B's are going to cancel out. And so you're going to get, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is negative here. Okay, so this is going to be 6 is equal to 2A, so A is equal to 3. All right. And that's an answer mark for that. And then uh, last part, set, what set of values are there for B? Here's the weird part. Uh, since B canceled out, remember when B canceled out? We go back into part B. When we go back, we get 3 minus A plus B equals 3 plus A plus B. And A is 2, right? So 3 minus 2 plus b is equal to 3 plus 2 plus b. And I think that, well, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. So this is going to be negative 3 plus 2. So 3 minus 2 is going to be 1 plus b. And then uh, 2 minus 3 is negative 1 plus b. And b 
can be any number. I just feel like I did something backwards here. 3 minus 2, 3 plus 2, negative 3 plus 2, 3 minus 2. It should be 1 and 1. What happened there? Something went wrong. But you had 3 minus a plus b, 3 minus 2, 1 plus b. I like that. And then this one is negative 3. Did you plug in 2 for a instead of 3? That's what I did wrong. Okay. Still is. That's what I did. That's what I did. Okay, so these will be 0, and these will be 0. So b is equal to b. So that means b, b can be any real number. Okay, and that's what they're saying here. So four marks. We had a uh, answer mark here, just one answer mark here, and four for this one. One, two, three, four, and this was an optional one. Uh, let's go to the next one here quick. Find the values of this one. The first thing you're going to want to do is to change to polar form. So we're going to take 1 plus square root of 3i and change it into polar. r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared. This is my x and this is my y. So you're going to get the square root of 1 squared plus root of 3 squared, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. That didn't get you a mark, which is weird. It should. Inverse tangent of y over x is the angle theta, and it's in quadrant 1, so we can just go inverse tangent of y over 1. And that's 30 or, or pi over 6 or pi over 3? Very good. Pi over 3. That gave you one mark. Okay. And it's kind of an answer mark, method mark. Now we're going to change this into cis form. 2 cis pi over 3 to the, what was the power? N. Okay. Damov's theorem says that this is equal to 2 to the N times the cosine of N pi over 3 plus I times the sine of n pi over 3. That is definitely a mark. Method mark. Now, analyzing this, if we want it to always be what? Real? Did they say always real? Okay. So if we want it to always be real, do we care what happens here? Nah. Do we care what happens here? Yes. So what we want to have happen is the sine of n pi over 3 should be equal to what? If we want this to never to be real, this has to be what? Zero, because we don't want that to be an i existing. So then tell me, what should n be? I'll give you a hint. One value is zero. Sine of zero is zero. What else could n be to make this? Three. What else? Six. What else? Nine. Twelve. Yep. And don't forget the negatives. All of those will work. And so this is actually my answer mark. This is a method mark. And that's a method mark. And so that will get you all of those points for problems one and two. Do you want to see five quick? What's five? Oh, I want to show you five really, really, really super quick. The real root of equation x cubed minus x plus 4 equals 0 is this. This is one of the roots. Okay? So what do you notice that's different about this formula and this one? It's shifted how? This is shifted to the right. So one mark, one mark is shift f of x minus 1 to the right one. That's one mark. Then, uh, if that's true, you just take x equal to negative 1.796 and move it to the right one, and you'll get negative 0.796. There's your answer mark. So I have a mark, one for method, and an answer mark. This one, what happens between these two in part B? Yeah, this is 
2x to the third minus 2x uh, plus 4 equals 0. And so do you see how the x has been replaced with that? This is a horizontal shift, uh, not a shift, horizontal stretch of 0.5 or a shrink of 2. And so 2x is equal to negative 1.796. So if you divide by 2, you're going to get negative 0.898. And so there's your answer mark. There's your method mark.